have some biopsies checked out on one of my lungs. And while I was there, God called me home. Mm. But for some reason, he called me back a little over two minutes later. I don't know why he did that. I've contemplated that. You know, while Moses was up on the hill, the mountain, God decided he was going to destroy his chosen people because they built an altar and were worshiping it instead of him. But Moses pleaded with God, don't do that. If you do that, the uh, Egyptians will say, well, the only reason you brought them out of the, uh, Egypt was just so you could carry them up on top of the mountain and destroy them there. Perhaps someone up there down here say, don't take him now. And then it could be that, uh, and I'm trying to get my thoughts, he may have thought that uh, my little abode up there was finished. The contractor had come to him and said, uh, we've just put the finishing touches on it. As he walked back through, through the walkthrough inspection, they found something that they needed to correct. So they called him back and said, hey, we're not, don't have these accommodations ready for him yet. No, and it could be that he had something else for me to do. Amen. You know, in 2 Kings, Hezekiah was, I think Isaiah told him, said, get your stuff in order. You're going to be going home. And he faced the wall and said, God let me have more time. And he gave me 15 more years. I don't think I have 15 more years. I don't think I would uh, enjoy 15 more years. But maybe he had me come back to talk to you, witness to you and, and others about what he's done for me. What he wants me to continue to do. There are a lot of people that say the end is near. And there are certainly uh, things going on in the world today that will make one think that that's true. Amos said that, that uh, in the end times, the nation of Israel would have their own country. And that they would never be uprooted there. Well, they have their own nation. And every nation in the world is looking to that little country that's no more than that, no bigger than the size of uh, New Jersey as to what's taking place there today. And then Matthew, it tells us that. Uh, the end of time, that the word will be spread all over the world. And that's been done today. There are more missionaries today than any time in previous history. And it has been, it is being spread all over the world. And that has to do with the internet and mass media, social media. Revelation tells us that uh, There'll be a one world empire, one leader. Jim thinks that that leader may have already be alive. And Matthew also tells us, and I'm not making a prediction because I don't know, but he also tells us that we don't know when that day will be. Amen. It could be today. It says the angels don't know. The son doesn't know, only the father. Should I stand before you today to pray that each and every one of you will sit down and talk to God this afternoon and say, God, where do you want me to be in 2024? Amen. Where is my relationship with you today? Am I where you want me? And if I'm not, show me what you want me to do. 
Maybe he's saying, I want all of you and you're holding back this a little bit. He's knocking at your door. Maybe he's been knocking at you a long time. And you had to let him in. And if he has, I urge you today to let him in. He may not keep knocking. There are other people he needs to go see and offer salvation. Maybe you've been attending this church for many, many years. But you're not really a member. You've just been attending. And maybe he's telling you today, walk down the aisle and become an official member of New Creek Baptist Church. I thank you for listening to my story. Thank you. Amen. Amen.